you know, there's a long standing issue working in a school. You have so many people and there's so few bathrooms to use. I mean, on this hall alone, there's 12 people and we all have the exact same bathroom break. And it's like every time you walk to the door, it's locked. Oh, sorry, sorry. And you hear the sounds inside and you know what's going on. And then you go back a couple minutes later and it just smells terrible. Whoa. So we've got to do something to figure out the problem here or to alleviate the problem here. So I've come up with a solution. And that solution is having a check-in, check-out system with the bathroom so that we know who is the one that's coming in and dominating the toilet. So in determining this solution, I've spent copious hours at the board determining an algorithm that will help us exactly determine the amount of time necessary, the window of time between someone using the restroom and how much time should be allotted before you yourself go and use the restroom. So it's gonna take a sign in, sign out system. Um, and in this algorithm that I have been working on, you have to determine a lot of things. What was for breakfast? How much toilet paper was used? Is there air freshener present in the bathroom? How much time they were actually in the restroom? And these things will help us determine exactly when the window should be for you to come in afterwards to use the restroom yourself. Okay, Susan Payne, time in, 8.45. And number one or number two? What? Number oh one God. or number two? Forget it. Matt Hunt. 824. Just need to use the restroom. Man. Number one or number two? Oh, definitely number two. It's a little early. Here, take this. Thank you. Did you wash your hands? Of course. Well, just in case. Thank you. Wait, Mr. Hunt was just in there. According to my algorithm, I'd wait about seven more minutes before he used the bathroom. He just went number two. Uh, thanks for looking out. You're welcome. Teachers, I'm doing this for you. first about telling folks what to do. <sighs> Taking a look at the big board, obviously I would draft myself first at every position. <sighs> but since I can't play because I have to prove my coaching prowess, and definitely Blast you would be my last pick at every position. I got I, oh gosh, I can't even can't even imagine a world where this would even happen. I've got some thinking to do. Alright, so we just got the email. Game is on. I got top right Back into it, baby. That's right. Hey, just want to let you coaches know. Uh, myself, along with uh, Fierce Pierce and uh, Ricky Bobby, we come as a package deal here around these parts. We've been dominating the courts for years. Some of you kids, you might not have have even seen all the news, all the newspaper clippings, the headline, been on Sports Center top 10 a couple of times, but every time we have these factor games, Big Pudding, Fierce Pierce, we go out there, completely dominate everybody. They've tried to split us up a couple of times, but we always find our way, it doesn't work. Like our way back together. So, Mr. Sams, Mr. Henson, you guys are gonna be coaching. We just wanna go ahead and throw it out there. Don't know if you're doing a draft or how you're gonna pick the teams, but we're a package deal. We're coming together. We're going to lead our team to victory, so you need to make sure you have us on the, on your team. And with the package, you get these boots. These boots. I'm going to play in these boots. And, I, you know, I'm about to go out here in the hallway in just a second, show you how I break a couple ankles. I'm going to dunk on a couple of these kids, just so you understand what you're getting. Every day, year in, year out, this ain't nothing new to us. We, we, we go out here in the hallways every day. Show these kids what's up. It's going to be the same thing next Thursday at the faculty basketball game. Book it. What? 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 